Uh, Matthew was eight when he drowned. He'd never been led to swim. He was our only grandson. By not teaching children to swim, we are putting their lives in danger. 57 deaths from drowning in 2010 alone. I think it's very important to teach my daughter to swim as early as possible. We used to take her to lessons when she was just a few months old, where she, we just got her in the water, we splashed around, and it's very important just to get them used to the water because you don't want your child growing up with a fear of the water. It's very important that they're used to the water and, you know, and they learn to swim. Swimming's the only sport that's a survival skill. She, Becky would be about nearly three and a half. Um, and I was blowing her armbands up for get in the pool, and she just literally took a running jump and dived, and she just jumped in the in the pool. We all stood there. We just literally froze. Not one of us did anything. We could all swim, but we just kind of. <gasps> and I guess she must have sat there as a little two, three year old, thinking, "Well, I'm watching them swimming up and down. I can do that when I get in." Um, when we got back from that holiday, she started swimming lessons. Well, the SA is joining up with Callows to launch this uh, awareness campaign because we want every child to have the opportunity to learn to swim at school. One in three children are leaving primary school unable to swim, and this equates to astonishing two million children over the next 10 years that will leave primary school unlikely to swim in their adult life. Matthew was um, roaming around, basically, uh, in an area we weren't aware of. Um, some, somehow they've roamed down towards the canal. Well, the canal, some parts of it, it's wide open where you can see, it's quite easy to see. But where Matthew was playing and picking blackberries, it had been dug out for a previous flood seven years since and it's not been filled back in. And uh, while picking blackberries, it got too close to the water and it slipped in. We could dramatically change the number of children uh, taking part in school swimming if we prioritise funding for the delivery of school swimming and we improve the education of teachers delivering swimming. I think the campaign with Kellogg's and the ASA um, is, is brilliant. Um, um, swimming is one of the very, very few sports that can offer safety, confidence, fun, discipline. It's just a fantastic sport and I think anything that can promote that and bring that to a higher level of a number of children across the whole country has got to be amazing. We do honestly think this family, the importance of swimming is. It needs to be taught as, as much as possible. It needs to be put into schools earlier. It needs to be said to the government, let's get these children to swimming. Why? should a young child drown because he can't afford to swim. You need to get behind this campaign with Kellogg's and the Amateur Swimming Association to learn our children in Britain to swim as young as possible and as quickly as possible because that's what it's all about. It's because like it you said, you can't put price on a child's life. You can't put a child on You can't. And I don't may... care what age they are, you can't put price yeah. on them. Yeah. And it just may save your child's life one day. Let's go for it. <laughs>